Hello, everyone, and thank and thank you once again for listening and downloading or whatever the hell you do. How you get this podcast? I don't know how, but you get it. It's there. Uh, you get that. Todo el mundo sean una vez bienvenidos a de nosotros, donde somos así, ya sí somos. Línea abierta al show de Ariel, donde todo un poco. Nada serio y todo en broma. Sin mundito de pena. Sin mundito de pena. Exacto. En inglés ahora. Welcome everyone to the show que tenemos hoy aquí. Everybody. En el show yo estoy aquí de invitado. El guest de hoy. Así que welcome everyone. As you can tell, this is off the rails already. But, but yes, don't, don't adjust the dial. Don't check the description like... What the fuck did I just get into? Yes, this is still the Husky Bible podcast. <laughs> it's just that. I am so old. Chicken wing and the dog. Hey. Those, those chicken wing and the are legit. The los chino. Oh my God. Those are legit. You know they're gonna be the shit as soon as she tells you en totono, you're like, yeah. What are you talking about? When you get around here these parts in Geekville, <laughs> I'm gonna show it to you. You just said no when she, you hear them pronounce that word and say totone, you're like, hell yeah, this No no they yeah, they they don't say totone, they say plantain. <laughs> no, aquí dicen totone, loco. Ah no, aquí no ha llegado a ese nivel todavía. Sí. No, no. Y ve que es suficiente dominicano que hay por aquí. Te digo, cuando los chinos te dicen totone, you're like, yeah. You're, you're like, you're... This one has been, <laughs> this one has been through the process. She knows. <laughs> you're the chosen one. <laughs> this one knows. This one knows. So we can, we can, uh, we can sleep calm and know that the formula how to make the totone <laughs> has been passed from a Dominican to a Chinese woman. <laughs> Yeah. So the, we can we can be rest assured that it's going to have the Dominican taste. They're going to get that uh, aceite from DR. <laughs> <laughs> the salt from DR. Heck, even the plantain we were born there in DR. How they brought it to the U.S., we don't know. None no of our me, business. None of our business. <laughs> no me importa. It's not, none of our business. The, the important thing is that we chew in it and, and it tastes good and it tastes like exactly like it's made in DR and That's all that we man. That that's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay. Well, speaking from speaking of Dominican cuisine <laughs> made by Chinese <laughs> to a sad sad weekend for nerds and geeks all around the world. Uh, this weekend, um, this past Friday, the voice of Batman, the guy who's been the voice of Batman for the past 30 years. Uh, Kevin Conroy passed away from an undisclosed uh, sickness. Uh, apparently, he's been sick for a while. Nobody knew. I mean, he didn't look in the best of health uh, the last pictures I've seen him. He, did, he looked very thin. But we're not going to speculate because we don't know. We don't know what happened. Uh, the thing is that he passed away at 66. I think a few days shy from turning 67 because he was born in 55. Uh, and bueno, se quedó mudo, vamos, entonces. Esa es mi pregunta. Ya, ok, se murió el que hacía la voz de Batman. Pero mm. de ahora en adelante, cuando ven una película, Batman es mudo. No, uh, ellos van a buscar a otra gente que haga la voz. Han habido otros actores que durante el periodo han hecho la voz de Batman. There has been other actors that played the voice of Batman and other... For example, you know this guy from Supernatural, Jensen Eccles, yeah. from the Winchesters. Uh, he's yes. he's done the Batman voice recently in the cartoons. Mm -hmm. In the most recent cartoons, he's done the the voice of Batman, and he also did Red Hood and 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 the uh, animated movie for the Red Hood story. He did the voice of Red Hood as an adult. Uh, so he's he, no no, but it's just that he was the official voice of Batman, like. It, when you think of Batman and you think of his voice, you think of Kevin Conroy's voice because of the animated series, the games, because he was the voice of Batman in the Arkham games as well. 
in the Arkham games and in the Injustice games as well. So he was the voice of Batman on a lot of different media. So he even got to play a little bit of Batman in the CW uh, universe when he played uh, like a future version of Batman when he was using the exoskeleton like in the uh, uh, Kingdom Comes uh, comic. Have you seen that comic? No. Okay, that's Batman in, like in his 60s that he has to use an exoskeleton to able to move because his body's so messed up. Mm, interesting. Yeah, because if... You wouldn't even think that he would live that long. If, if, porque imagínate, si tú ves la espalda de ese loco, como lo han dibujado a veces, que yeah. parece que le decían un surco. <ríe> la espalda de Tigre está desbaratado, man, y haciendo esa vaina por 30 años, no va, no va a aguantar mucho. Yo soy muy miedita, porque los haitianos yo lo veo haciendo construcción <ríe> por 30 años, y no le cambian nada. I have to say this is the most un PG podcast we've done so far. <laughs> right off the bat. We've we're going off against the Chinese, the Haitian. <laughs> Y loco, que es injusto también, porque las mujeres siempre dicen que quieren un hombre bueno y trabajador. Pero qué hombre más bueno y trabajador que un haitiano. Bueno, mi hermano. Bueno, hay, hay que ser sincero. El haitiano está dispuesto a lo que sea. Para pa conseguir su chelito. Él está para lo que sea. Él, ok, I can, we, we do what we got to do. But we need some money, so we're going to do what we got to do. They're hardworking. They work extra hours. They'll do whatever it can. Like, if, if it's going to go on a fight between the Dominican and Haitian, the Dominican going down. <laughs> Pues el haitiano todo esto está en el hierro nada más, es fibra, fibra de, de acero, que tiene, de cable de acero que tienen los músculos. Mi hombre, que un dominicano desde que no quiera hacer un trabajo, dice, ah, yo voy con un haitiano que lo haga. Exacto, la vagancia. Entonces dime tú, ¿cómo no voy yo a ir a los haitianos? Yo mi cuarta lo pongo. Yo lo, que no hay, yo lo que me estoy preguntando, ¿cómo esa gente todavía no hay, que uno sepa, ¿cómo esa gente todavía no ha inventado a, 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 a MMA? Loco. Adiós. Y ellos comienzan a romper gente a dos manos. Adiós, pero mira, mira la versión africana. Por ejemplo, Adesanya, Camaro Usman y toda esa gente en MMA. Claro, últimamente esos tigres han pedido, eh, incluyendo a Adesanya, Israel Adesanya, pedió anoche, le, le rompían el caco. <ríe> Nos mandaron a Slipin en Holandia. <ríe> no. <ríe> le di en una trompa a mi hermano que eso fue... Así que quedó ahí nada más como que... Ok. <risa> lo frisan ahí mismo. Que tú sabes, la musiquita de Windows XP. <risa> lo ¡Tin, tin, tin, tin! ¡Tin, tin, tin, tin! Ahí veo ya reini reiniciado. <risa> y hay que recogerlo el hombre después de esa trompa. Ese hombre vio los ancestros de como en, en Black Panther, la parte de uno cuando murió. <risa> Volvió para atrás los ancestros de Ibai. Así mismo lo mandó el tigre. A hablar con esta esta de allá en la otra dimensión. <risa> Papá, ¿por qué no vendiste los secretos? Mi hijo, me la madre. Yo para allá no vuelvo. <laughs> That's when you know when you got fucked up when you go seeing your ancestors. Like, who the fuck are you? Shit hit you hard. I'm your ancestor. Says who? <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> I'm your great great granddaddy. Bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck happened? You got knocked the fuck out. That's what the fuck happened. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. That's what happened. Hay que recogerte ahora de piso con una espátula. <risa> Como si cual huevo frito en un sartén. <risa> Hablando de esa vaina, ¿have you seen Black Panther the Part 2 yet? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't. I usually uh, take a time off from my family and I say I'm going to work extra hours mm -hmm. just so I can sit down at the movie theater and enjoy the movie on my own. 
That's, that's the only way you can actually enjoy a movie. Just say you're working extra hours and go to the theater. I haven't done it yet. Not for this movie. I did it for the last one. I, I put it. I, I thought I it was going to end in a nice story. Like, I'm going to work extra hours so we can all go to you. No, yep. fuck y'all. I'm going to the movie theater where you yep. think I'm working. I put that theory to the test with the first black man. I'm like, they can't talk too much, so I'm not taking them. So I said, they're not working. I went to the theater. And then, like, a week after, I was like, okay, let's go watch Black Panther. Adivina que. Se pasó la película entera hablando mierda. Y para yo ver y cinde. Si no, todavía estuviera yo viendo review en YouTube. ¿Y qué fue lo que dijo? Wow. <laughs> I don't have to go to that route yet because my family is not here, but... Oh, get um... ready. <laughs> it, it's, not a, it's not a last name thing. It's not a thing. It's a female thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me. My wife, in the middle of when she starts, who's this? <laughs> I'm like, that's T'Challa. Who's T'Challa? Uh, he's the Black Panther. And who's the Black Panther? Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, Christ Almighty. Even my daughter will be looking at her, Mommy, in serio. <laughs> I played a movie the other day, and not even five seconds after I put the movie, Valentina was sitting down with me. Valentina's my daughter. Mm -hmm. She's sitting down with me. I put the movie on. Five seconds in, she's asking me, why is he jumping? And I'm like, didn't you just see me? I put the movie. I don't know. Like, the movie just started. I'm like, hey, maybe it's an interactive movie. Go ask him. I don't know. Pause the movie. And then, Mr. 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 CGI character that Disney created. Can you ask answer me this question? Why are you jumping? <laughs> And the actor's just mute because he won't respond. <laughs> I'm like, go behind the TV. He's hiding behind the TV right now. Go ask. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to be like, por eso hay que say, that's pro tip. Sit in the way back in the back. Of, if you're going to, if it's necessary, if you bring your entire family to see the movie in the theater, sit in the way back so you don't bother nobody. <laughs> Oh, in the back. Yep. Sit way in the back, like right next to the projector, right behind the projector. <laughs> Sit right next, right behind the projector. It is going to be the projector. It is. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> People trying to listen to this goddamn movie. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, Mr. Projectionist. Yeah. I see that you're still using Windows. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the movie don't crash. <laughs> Piece of advice, do not choose the wheelchair accessible seats. Oh, no. Just so you know, there are no seats because <laughs> they already come pre-seated. Yes. So don't take the space for the wheelchair accessible because guess what? You're going to stand throughout the whole movie. I did that. You don't want to do it. That's why you go way back in the back. Para que no, no te jodan. Yeah, that's my strategy. I always, I don't care if the, if the theater is empty. I always go to the back. I'm like, okay, I don't want to. I'm an introvert. Or I say, yeah, yo soy un antisocial de por sí. Entonces, ya yo me voy para atrás lo último. Ya yo, o sea, ya eso viene ya de 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 fábrica. Yo me voy para atrás, pero también porque nadie le gusta irse para allá arriba. Eso es como lo mismo que se quieren ir allá abajo de frente. Like you, who's the psycho who likes to sit right on the front? Who's the psychopath? Exactly. You're, you're basically lying down on the floor <laughs> to watch the movie. You have to lie down on the floor. Or the people that take the side right oh next to the, to the corridor. You yeah. know every one someone's going to go like, to the bathroom, they're going to bother you. So and also, the, the pain in the neck you're going to have for the rest of the night after you watch that movie because you're just going, t twisting that neck, twisting that neck, like... Motherfucker, go in the center, in the center, in the yeah. center. Go to the center because that, that's you're not forcing your neck to do anything. You, let the eyes do the work. Your eyes is going to do the rest of the work. 
Last mm-hmm. movie I went to see was uh, uh, Black Adam. Yeah, it was. How was that? I haven't watched it. Yeah, so so. I gave it six out of ten. Because the thing is, it's like, yeah, the special effects were done right. Uh, uh, it's an okay movie for comic book uh, movie standards, but it didn't break any ground or anything. It's not something that you haven't seen before. It's a basic uh, comic book origin story, but the only difference is that The Rock kills a bunch of people. <laughs> he, okay. he kills a lot, like a not lot. Your average, uh, not your average... No, no. no. I like one part that he has two guys by the neck and they're, hey, don't you drop them. He's like, what? <laughs> he just lets them go. I'm like, what? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then there was one guy who was like, wait, don't kill one of them. We need to ask them questions. Y ya hace rato le había dado un zumbón que estaba ahí. Y tú oyes en el fondo nada más. Yeah, he didn't make it. <laughs> he does not give a fuck. He does not, like what people have like this thing like, like este cuidado si le pasa algo, you know. He's like, I'll piss on their fucking mouth. <laughs> okay. I'll piss on it. I'll make a hole in his cranium and piss on it. <laughs> Mr. Dwayne Johnson needs to chill. Yeah, no, he has no chill. He has no, he's zero fucks. It's just zero fucks. Just lightning people, lighting them up, turning them into ash, fucking people up. He doesn't give a shit. Then the monster in the end is like, this came out of left field. Like the the, the monster he fights in the end is like, like, yeah, if you pay attention to the movie, they kind of build it up, kind of, but you have to be paying a lot of attention. Like you... Your brain has to be concentrated in the plot. <laughs> and mostly people go see those superhero movies not for the plot because you want shit to blow up. Yeah. So you have to be concentrated. So you have to so I did pay attention because I was like, okay, what else this movie has? What else? What else? Okay, and the thing is that he kept beating the shit out of the same line, tell them the man in black sent you. Tell them the man in black sent you. And you're like, dude, you said it three times already. Let it go. <laughs> You're not the fucking Terminator. Entonces, eso parecía como si fuera Terminator. ¿Te acuerdas? John Connor con, con eh, eh, T-800. Que John Connor le vivía enseñándole de que todos los catchphrases. Yeah. Así me meto. Era un carajito enseñándole todos los catchphrases. Ahí. I'm like, okay, this has been done before. This has been done before. Entonces, lo único chulo de la película was the post credit scene when Superman showed up. So I heard, yes. Yeah. And it was him, actually him, showed up in, in his bright, shiny suit, but there was no no conclusion. There was just like, we're about to go down, but nothing happens. So because we went to black, back to the credits. But I think it was a good movie. Uh, he did well, uh, and he hardly said anything in the movie. Dwayne Johnson. He Other did it. than Men in Black. No, no. I, he said some lines, but it's not like, oh my, is, this is, okay. You have to understand, this movie did not require him to be, do a Shakespearean performance, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, look intimidating and fuck people up. I can do that. <laughs> he can do that in his sleep. <laughs> like, yeah. So that to call this a great performance is like saying too much, you know? <laughs> Because like, como, como dije en el podcast pasado, la, la expresión que dijo Bison en la película de, de, de Street Fighter, cuando Chun-Li le se estaba quejándole a él, de que, de que, ah, tú mataste a mi papá. Yo, yo no me acuerdo de esa vaina. ¿Cómo es que tú no te acuerdas, desgraciado? Tú mataste a mi papá. The day Bison went into your village was the greatest day of your life to me. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> He did not give a fuck. It was like, Wow. The fuck are you talking about? Like, be more specific. I killed a bunch of people. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. I've killed the motherfuckers, one or two motherfuckers in my lifetime. You got to be more specific. Some, something that has to ring my bell. <laughs> Ay, yo, esta vaina si es grande. Ni nadie quiere un pedazo. No. 
So yeah, uh, I've heard that the movie Returning Back to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, I've heard that it's good. I'm going to probably see it next week. I'll probably see it next week and I'll give my little review, non-spoiler review. But like saying a spoiler review for Black Adam is like, what spoiler? There's there's no spoiler to spoil out because it's basically it's a, it's a very generic movie for my, for my taste. It's not dog shit. It's not a piece of shit of a movie. It's just that you've seen this before. You know what I mean? You've seen it before. It's not a bad movie like made like, oh my God, this is shit. Like watching, for example, like what we just mentioned, Street Fighter, which I think everybody can say. But Street Fighter is so bad that it's funny. <laughs> That's the first Street Fighter. Right? Uh-huh, yeah, the first Street Fighter. The one that, I mean, what are you talking about a movie that that hires a <laughs> French actor, Jean-Claude Van Damme, to play Guile, an American? Yeah, yeah I was like 12, and, I, and even then that movie sucked. Yeah, no, no. I always watched it as a guilty pleasure, you know, like something to laugh at. You know, like Mystery Science uh, uh, Theater. <laughs> Just to to dissect it, it's just like, like yes, I was born in Iowa, but I I have a French accent for some reason. <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> I have a French accent for some reason, and then they hire Ken and Ryu, which and and, and Ken is not even blonde. When in the in the video games he's blonde as fuck. He's blonde like Goku in Super Saiyan One, but he has like dark hair. And the two most generic actors that I've never seen before or after in my life. <laughs> I don't know how much money they pay they do these dudes for that role, but I hope they earned it well and saved their money <laughs> because I don't think they're getting royalties out of it. <laughs> It's not like people are going, let me watch Street Fighter and Netflix. <laughs> and they get two sets. Guy will be like, Sonic Baguette. <laughs> oh, my God. Sonic Boom. <laughs> oh, God, those poor bastards. But, hey, it doesn't, it, that movie only served one purpose for Jean-Claude Van Damme. Keep his, keeping his co- no two two purposes actually, keeping his coke dependency strong, <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Kylie Minogue. <laughs> yeah, Kylie was there. That's right. Yeah, he fuck he, he fucked her in that movie. He fucked her. Like he looked good. She looked good then. She looked good now. Es es otra que no se pone vieja. Y esa está en los cincuenta y pico ya lejos, ¿verdad? Probably. She, I mean, Madonna's in her 60s, but then again, tiene más ferre. Kylie <laughs> is 54 years old. Holy shit. She was born in 68. Mm. Yeah, más o menos para lo mismo tiempo que nació Van Damme. Van Damme de por, eso, por, por, por esa ficha de, también, por, eso, por esos años. But Van Damme lost everything up front here. <laughs> No, Van Damme is older than that. Van Damme is 62. Yeah. No, because he must be like in his... He was must have been born like in what, 61 or 60? Six. In 1960? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he's 61 or 62, something like that. Jesus Christ. The dude remembers in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> He goes back enough that there was no color. Yeah. <laughs> you can ask him like, "What was it? How was it seeing everything in black and white?" And then you <laughs> and then you get a Van Damme split, uh, a split kick on your face <laughs> for, <my> for, nuts. <laughs> for, for disrespecting him. Like, how about that split on your face, you piece of shit? <laughs> I'll be doing that dance that he does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a <the> kickboxer. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that little dance <laughs> i don't know maybe they did get him drunk for that scene i don't know because that was too good of a performance of him looking drunk <laughs> they probably did get pissed they got him pissed drunk <laughs> 
para esta vez le sirvieron como tres, tres tragos de, de Jägermeister. Y lo, y lo dejaron. Es un intestino estaba inmaculado. Eso estaba acá, hasta brillaba como diamante por dentro. Y el tigre ahí. Nada más que te seguro que le pusieron un agapito para cuajar. Sí, vuelve, va, va, va. Si tú lo pones, 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 si no, es verdad, esa película como del 87, men, o el 88, por ahí. En Mayimber no había salido todavía. Something like that, yeah. Eh, Anthony Santos se vino a pegar, se fue en el 92, algo así. A cebolla. Uno <risa> habla del 92, como que eso fue ayer, y ya son 30 años atrás. <risa> son 30 años atrás. <risa> If your memory can go back 30 years, motherfucker, you're old. You're old. That's that's not only legal enough to vote. That's legal enough to have a 15-year-old in the house. Yeah. You, you should stop looking at me and fucking go check your knees or something. Like, I think of people that were born in 92. Oh, that was a puppy. Now I think, no, motherfucker, that's a 30-year-old. That's an adult. Oh, yeah. That's an adult. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm old. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. I'm old. I follow this kid on YouTube, and that ain't no kid. <laughs> I mean, I was a kid when, in '92. I was a kid, but I was like, what, 13? Yeah, 13, 14, something like that. In '92, I was eight. Well, I'm old. What can I tell you? Look at my fucking beard. My beard is already Santa Claus level. <laughs> my beard is already Santa Claus. I, I Just put me the red suit on. I'm going to go, ho, ho, ho. Why are you calling hoes? <laughs> Why is he calling for hoes? <laughs> like saying Mrs. Claus is not getting it done? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Claus not getting it done, so he'll be calling ho, ho, ho. Singular, not plural. <laughs> So it's a one woman at a time. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been like Swiss in there. There's plenty for everyone. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Come, there's plenty for everyone. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this thing is all over the place. Ah. Uh. So, Angelo, what do you think about uh, the recent purchase of Elon Musk of Twitter and making it a safer place for everyone, sarcastically speaking? Hold on, dude, this toy. What? Oh, company arrived. Okay. Angelo is attending. Never mind. This, this <laughs> toys. It just turned on for no reason. I told the guy shit going on over here. So yeah, so, what so you th what the the recent purchase of uh, Twitter by Elon Musk and making it a safer haven for the internet, because you know that that was the most nicest place to be on the internet. <laughs> Twitter was like there was any problems going on Twitter at all. Like you could say anything and you wouldn't have any consequences at all. And now it's like a safer place. I'm talking sarcastically in case people don't get my drift. <laughs> Like I'm trying, I'm trying to to drip all the sarcasm in, but just in case, if I'm coming out like not being enough clear, so just for you who are uh, sarcastically challenged, I I think it's great the fact that it belongs to him now. Like it took Twitter how many years to make money without yeah. any ads, mm -hmm. and all have this dude and bringing in and switching the the whole for profit scheme. It's gonna be great. And, and, if, and now you're gonna uh, have to pay eight dollars <laughs> a month if you want the blue check mark next to your name. Yeah, yeah, I'm not paying. No, it's that's the whole thing. No, because now I guess what people are pissed about is that a lot of confirmed accounts 
lost the blue check mark because and legitimate businesses, legitimate journalists, legitimate people all around the world that were actually famous and had their and have been there in that platform for a while. What I find funny is that most of them are leaving to places where are big, even bigger cesspools. Like, for example, uh, 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 this the original Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, she left mm -hmm. Twitter and she went to Tumblr. Like, I used to be in Tumblr and they kicked me and, and I had to leave that fucking place because that was a fucking cesspool. Like, you can say one thing and then, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, yo hice un meme. I'm going to say it in Spanish so that people in English don't, that don't understand, fuck you. Don't understand. <laughs> Yo hice un meme comparando el DCE yo con Donald Trump. Entonces, the hate that I got from the DC fans. So you're saying that we're misogynist pigs? Like, no. What I'm saying, entonces yo en mi estupidez porque yo soy estúpido, porque lo peor, lo peor que tú puedes hacer es tratar de explicarte ya cuando están esos animales revoltados, revolteados. Entonces yo tratando de explicarle a ellos que no, que lo que yo quise decir, no, entonces, it was worse. And you know what, like, you know what, there's, there's no use to fighting with children. There's no use uh, fighting with children that don't have any common sense in their brain whatsoever. So what I did was just quit, I just quit that account and that's it. I closed the ad account and I said, and I haven't looked back since. And I haven't looked back since. So in my mind, Tumblr was always like, you wanted to go to the highest, the Mount Everest of shit in the internet. To me, it was Tumblr. Then when I got into Twitter and I saw how they managed, that's why I learned very quickly after that experience in Tumblr, I was like, okay, just say jokes and say stupid shit, but don't get any delicate groups involved. Just try to stay as neutral as possible because these people are out to get people just for the stupidest shit on the earth. Uh -huh. So I, I just stay away from it. So basically, I have my Twitter account just to be like a popcorn, a guy eating popcorn from the outside. Like, mm, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Look how they're eating each other. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I don't participate. Like George Carlin said in that bit, it's like, I'm just going to be watching the end of the world from, from afar eating popcorn. <laughs> And just watching these idiots kill each other for stupidity. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, people are like killing each other and calling each other stupidity for a fucking blue check mark. And by the way, if he owns the company, guess what? If you own something, you can do with it whatever the fuck you want. So you can scream bloody murder all you want. He owns it. He can do with it whatever he wants. If he wants to wipe his ass with it, Guess what? That's his prerogative. Yep, he got he got his right. That's his right because guess what? He owns it. But it's my account. You don't like it? Get the fuck out. Build your own Twitter. Yeah, go go somewhere else. Go go to Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to do that. Build his own Twitter or something. His own social media. Yeah. What? Orange <laughs> Orange Man. <laughs> <laughs> The Oompa Loompa? <laughs> yeah. True Social is the name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but... that that, that kind of like, that is ironic over there. Truth and Trump. Only thing in common they have is the T at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that they're, he's back already in, 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 in Twitter. Orange Man is back in Twitter, and most of the people that they had deep platform, except Kanye, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that should be his handle right here, Orange Man. Yeah, Orange Man. Ay, ay, ay. It's him. Yeah, that's a, that should be his name, Orange Man, because, I mean, look, he's a double-edged sword for me. I, I, I don't hate him or like him i don't he's I, because if you live your life over who the hell is who's running the country and you y, y, y si tú le da mente nada más a mierda de política de gente que te importa un carajo que tú no le importa a ellos un carajo porque ellos lo que están ahí contando su dinerito 
y tú eres nada más el papel higiénico que van a usar cada cuatro años para limpiarse en la naga. Porque eso es lo que, yo, lo, eso es lo que nosotros somos para ellos. Entonces yo no gasto mi maldito tiempo de que, hey, tú eres republicano, hey, tú eres demócrata. <risa> like, Shut the fuck up. Both of them are playing the same game. They're just using different words. Yeah. They're just using different words. But esa gente comen junta, esa gente salen junta, esa... They, they're earning their money the same way. They, all of them are earning their money the same way. So go the fuck yourselves. Uh, you, like, you, you want to waste time and energy on those fucks that don't give a shit about you? Good luck with your life. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Dude, just do you. Forget about these fucks. They're going to fuck up. Oh, they're going to fuck up the country. Congratulations. You have some bit Everybody of common sense. Thank you for the note. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for having some note, some semblance of common sense. <laughs> thank you. And uh, uh, so what? You're just going to keep on living, man. They're going to do what they're going to do. You, you have to handle your business because they don't give a shit whether you live or die. They do not give a shit. Not one drop of iota of shit. They give about you. So, Not one second of their lives. No. Is so, spent thinking of you. And we keep holding these people on some fucking pedestal, like, oh, they're, 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 they're. live your fucking life. Live your fucking life. Like, there are people next to you right there that actually do give a shit about you, like your family, mm -hmm. relatives, friends. Deal with them, talk to them, interact with them. The politicians, the rich people. They do not give a shit about you. They don't give a fuck. It's like, uh, that's one of my favorite uh, things that I've ever seen in my life is when Ricky Gervais did the, the Golden Globes the last time. <laughs> when he called, he called all of their shit right in their face. Yeah. He called all of their shit. Like, like, you say you're woke, but you hang out with these fucking people that are fucking the world up. So what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you, you're just as full of shit as they are you're part of the same fucking clan <laughs> you're part of the same fucking clan but you want to act like you know you're hip you don't know what the fuck is the real world you haven't been in the real world for the rest of your life ever since you became famous you don't know what the fucking real world is you live in this fucking pla plastic fabricated bubble where everything you're just enjoying all the benefits and god bless and no hating on that You earn your money. You did what you did. That's good. God bless. Whatever. But don't tell us what, how the fuck to do or what to do <laughs> because you ain't got no fucking clue. Like no. a bad day for you is like, oh, my God, I lost a, a $10,000. Like we'd be lucky if we see $10,000. <laughs> like <laughs> no, we get a fucking heart attack. We, if we touch $10,000 and we'll get a heart attack. <gasps> It, that's not even a bad day. That's like, ah, se me cayó una mochelita ahí. Eh, que lo recoja otro. A mí que me importa. 10 mil dólares. Eso no es nada. Nosotros botamos 20 pesos en la calle. Andamos vuelta. No, no, no. La garata con puño, mi hermano. <risa> <risa> Eso es la garata con puño. Mi ¡Suéltame, mi coño! ¡Suéltame! ¡Está <risa> fucking <risa> 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 my man! My wife, the other, the other day, she, she dropped some cash. Se le cayó un dinero. Y yo le dije, mira, se te cayó el dinero, míralo ahí. Y ella lo vio y lo recogió como que se lo estaba robando a alguien. <risa> rápido y se lo metió en la cartera. Y yo, no, 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 y yo, Jesus, no. <risa> yo lo acabo de ver que se te cayó a ti. Y cuando ella chequeó, dice ella, ay, sí, ¿verdad? <risa> she was like, no, that money is mine. Here, here it is. was yours. Person. It was yours. No, it's mine now. Like, It is yours. It <laughs> was. <laughs> money, money, where? Where money? Where money? <laughs> yeah. So, como, eso es el equivalente de andar en, en DR y pones un letrero neón. Y digo, Tengo un iPhone. Tatrácame. <laughs> Tú quieres que, que te jodan la existencia en 3.5 segundos. Nada más aparenta tener vaina ya en, en RD para que tú veas lo que te va a pasar. Tú no, en RD que de, en el estado más rullido posible para aparentar que tú no tienes nada. Porque si tú comienzas a enseñar de que, que tú tienes algo, eso es crónica de un asalto anunciado. 
Adiós, la mujer mía la atracaron dos veces eh, 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 llegando a casa. El mm. año pasado, dos veces. Ma ¿El mismo día? No. One, oh. In the same month. Oh. In the same month. Like one, eh, like at the beginning of the month, she got mugged. The, uh, like three weeks later, they mugged her again, but the second time, she was prepared. <laughs> Porque tú sabes que el dominicano pone el candado después que le roba. <laughs> Entonces ella andaba con el celular y la llave entre, entre los bolsillos. Y yo lo que, tú sabes que el ladrón lo que anda rápido. Entonces lo que le lleva en la cartera. Entonces en la cartera ella no tenía nada. Ella tenía la, la cartera de señuelo nada más. That's what he has come to. Mm -hmm. she, had, she had her purse empty and she had everything in her pockets. She had her cell phone, the keys, her, 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 her debit card, everything in her pockets. Like the important shit. Uh -huh. It was in the pockets. So she, she just gave him an empty purse. Because that's the thing. That, that's why they mug generally women over there. Because women anda con la cartera. Entonces, si tú andas con un oh. carterón afuera, ¿qué es lo que ellos van a pensar? Que, que hay algo ahí adentro. So women have to ha ya las mujeres van a tener que aprender a andar como los hombres, que andar todo embuicillado. Van a tener que aprender eso, pero ya en RD ya esa vaina está en extremo ya. Adiós. Pero, por eso que eso fue uno de los factores que me empujó a mí venirme para acá. Pa porque es que ya la vaina ya está insoportable. En, R en RD está insoportable la vaina. It's very unbearable right now, the things in DR. Like, uh, and this recent storm, you, you, you saw what happened in, in, in Santo Domingo. When, uh, there was a, uh, there was a, the city got practically flooded. Yeah, you I know, saw that. They, and, were, they were pretty and, bad over there. Yeah, and a, lot, and a lot of people died. The current dragged them. And it killed a guy that I think he owned like a motorcycle company. Andaba gente desaparecida. Yeah, the no, and all of them. They found all of them and all of them drowned. All sea, of them. Era de esperarse. Yeah, no, all of them. Lo del, del sufrimiento ajeno, sin embargo. Yeah. La inundación se desaparece. Lo primero que tú vas a pensar es que se, yeah. se ahogó. Yeah, lamentablemente. And so, uh, that opened the door. The, uh, I mean, I... It's unfortunate that things like that have to happen in order to for the government take attention and say, okay, the the drainage system in the city doesn't work. Because uh, ahora, por ejemplo, esta semana, en Boca Chica, ahí está el reguero de basura en la playa, del drenaje que se drenó ahí a la playa, ahora. Ahí está todo el drenaje. O sea, ellos dicen que tratando de limpiar el drenaje, y ahí está toda la basura ahora en la playa. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Porque aquí yo no limpia nada de eso. Porque, bueno, no solamente ahí en la capital, eso es en el país entero. Y to, en las áreas que haya drenaje, porque no es este el país entero que tiene drenaje. Sin embargo, eso también es cuestión de, del Estado. En parte, Por eso. Porque mira, Santiago. Santiago, yo, yo a veces pienso que yo era el puerco. Porque después que yo me vine de Santiago para acá, ya. Santiago ha cambiado radicalmente. Hay uh -huh. vaina de arte, que los, los sitios están pintaditos y bonitos. No hay basura sí. en la calle. Yo a veces digo, coño, pero era yo el pueblo que tenía la ciudad. No, no, no. Es que hay que tener a alguien con. A alguien que, que se ponga los pantalones y, y quiere uh -huh. resolver. Entonces, tú puedes decir lo que tú quieras de Ave Martínez, pero. Es resuelve. A ver, resuelve. A ver, es, resuelve. Es resuelve. Pero también Mira, Santiago, uno... tú mismo sabes que Santiago se inundaba, que eso And daba asco. So... En el mismo trabajo de nosotros, los carros se convertían en submarinos. Sí, eso era, eh, 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 eso era eh, prácticamente a, a buscar re, eh, <ríe> a remar afuera sí. para sacar los carros. Ay, yo me, una vez se me inundó el carro, sí, pero gracias a Dios que es una jipetica que yo tengo que medio elevada, que no era, que llegaba ya casi llegando a la puerta en nivel, pero los carros que son bajitos, eso se jodieron todo. Yeah, no. Los carros bajitos se jodieron todo. Y yo, esa es sí. otra vaina que yo no entiendo de RD. ¿Cómo tú en un país que es timbi de hoyo manejas un jodido carro que es a nivel del suelo? Hoyo y policía acostado. 
con un carro que es... Yo me acuerdo una vez que Luis Polonia trajo el carro. Yo no creo, yo no me acuerdo que si era un BMW, un Porsche, yo no sé qué vaina, pero esa vaina era un low rider, low rider, low rider. Y, to, y es privando en la calle, todo el mundo, ¡eh, Luis Polonia! Se topó con un policía acostado y quedó <risa> bailando el carro ahí, el, el, el tambaleo ahí, el péndulo. <risa> I'm like this, you don't got that phone. Why the fuck you buy that car in DR? Like in the States, I understand. You can buy any car here in, in, in this here because you're not going to see that many potholes. But DR... Cuidado también en cuidado what parts of the States. Yeah. Like, in Connecticut también está high to the hoyo. Eso es la otra vaina porque depende del sitio porque que cada, cada estado es su propio país prácticamente. Y yeah, aquí cruzando para Nueva York, tú sabes cuando es la línea divisoria entre Connecticut y Nueva York, porque tú... <risa> cuando tú llegas a Nueva York, de repente... Yeah. Tú estás... ¿Dónde están los hoyos? Sí. Ah, pues... Pero que yo hago que carro hace... Brum, 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 yo digo, llegamos a Connecticut. Pues será, puede ser por eso que aquí es tan cara la vaina, porque aquí yo digo, bueno, aquí será carísimo todo, pero por lo menos están todas las calles faltadas. Sí, tu, tu área es bonita para allá abajo. Sí, no, pero más caro que el diablo, sí. But then again, at least you see where the money goes. Some of it. <laughs> Some of it. Not your pocket. <laughs> no, go, go, to, go to NYC. Hmm. True. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> You want to talk about crazy. <laughs> That's the craziest shit on earth. That, in that city. People are living there by the flocks. People are leaving because es que no se aguanta ya la loquera. Ya eso no tiene sentido. Todo es revés allá. Tú viste lo que le pasó al bodeguero. Tú te acuerdas de eso. Un bodeguero. Dominicano, por cierto. Eh... El tí, eh, una mujer iba a pagar con el novio. Eh, con una... de que no vive en Nueva York. Esto, o sea, que tú esperas. Que no eso, sea es, un... eso es peso moriqueta que sale dominicano. Peso moriqueta. <risa> y el gato arriba y pan. <risa> la vaina es que, que están pagando con esta tarjeta de débito, tú sabes, la que te da el Estado. Eh, tú sabes, uh -huh. de la de... Eh, eh, ¿Cómo que le dicen esta vaina? EBT. Eh, eh, ajá. De la de UEFE. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, el tigre está pagando, pero no, no tenía nada la tarjeta. Estaba, estaba en blanco. It was empty. They had no money. So, el bodeguero was like, I'm sorry. The, the, the machine ain't going, uh, taking it through. Do you have another card? He told her that. Like, he, he was nice about it. He was, he, he was there. He was like, ah, you get, out the, get the hell out of here. You ain't got no money. No, he told her, I'm sorry. It's not taking the card. Do you have another card? Pase, pásala de nuevo. El eh, eh, que no tiene. <laughs> ¿Qué tú quieres que yo hago? No tienes. ¿Qué tú quieres? ¿Que, que va a aparecer los dígitos mágicamente por obra y gracia del Espíritu Santo? No. <laughs> que no tiene. No, mi amor, esto no tiene. Está en blanco. Pues entonces, ella le avisa al novio. El novio viene y con un cuchillo y dice apuñalía al tigre. El bodeguero. Y el bodeguero se defendió y le quitó la cuchilla y lo apuñalió a él. Gracias a Dios que todo apareció en cámara. Todo estaba en cámara, con el audio y todo. Porque el procurador quiere dejar preso a Evo de Guerrero. Y, este, y Evo de Guerrero estaba apuñaleado también. No es que dije que salió unscathed. No es que, que salió de lío. Dice que cajo, me, me libre de esta. No, él lo apuñalan también. Pero él agarró la pu el puñal y se defendió. Y le apuñaleó el tigre para atrás. Mm -hmm. Entonces lo quería meter preso de bodeguero entonces fue porque el outcry que se salió por social media y porque alguien liqueó el video en social media y fue por eso que lo soltan y tiene si no estuviera preso y todavía yeah, este país es sumamente injusto con, con la mierda así es si alguien se mete a robar a tu casa you have a gun if he's not going towards your room where you are at you could go to jail for shooting him that's messed up What if it's going to, to your daughter's room and you shoot him in the back? That's what I'm saying. This is messed up. This country has a lot of things that has to fix. It has, a lot of, it has a lot of things that need to be fixed. It, it, things that, that actually need to be fixed. That I ha have actual priority over some other stuff that are not that prioritized. I'm glad I don't call the cops. <laughs> 
I'm not calling the cops. I'm sorry for you, but I'm not calling the cops. Look, I I, I have a problem here where I live. I have these neighbors that just be blasting music until late hours at night. Mm -hmm. Like last week, they were playing music until 3 a.m. On a sat from Saturday to to a Sunday, and and then last night they were playing music again until eleven at least, and so at least they were more decent. Tienen perro. No, but but you have to understand there's six families living in this apartment. Nobody has called the police. That makes you think. Like there's six of us. There, there's five five against one. Think about it. There's five people, five different families, five different people against one and nobody has called the police on it that makes you think either okay you don't trust the cops or something else or option two which is pandora's <laughs> box that you don't want to open <laughs> i'll just lower down the music I wouldn't even ask. <laughs> so and everybody and then when we cuando nos topamos en el pasillo, everybody's like yo when are these people gonna turn off that goddamn music uh, and then i'm thinking about okay yes I guess we're all in agreement that we don't like the loud music, but how come we no do shit about it other than complain to the landlord? And the landlord does nothing because the landlord doesn't live there. He's not bothered. No, and as long as they're paying their rent, he don't give a shit. <laughs> like he paying the rent, that's all I give a shit about. That's all I give a shit about. He paying his rent? Good. <laughs> Like, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> like, you were trying to sell me something else? Or like, uh, I guess I wanted to no. There's nothing else to talk about. He's paying his rent. <laughs> yeah, I have a, 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 a friend that's that is military. Oh, you just tell me that. Motherfucker, you live in Kansas. <laughs> what, are you gonna do? what the fuck are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna do? Are you gonna send uh, some snipers up here? <laughs> like, no, hey, hey. No, 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 Speaking of animals, uh, uh, my uh, we had a cat. I say we had because the cat literally split like a month ago. He just that's, that's your daughter's cat, right? Yeah, yeah. He just vanished. He was like, "Fuck it." <laughs> I so... <laughs> hey, I'm used to this shit. Like cats, uh, like you know how cats are. That they're like the most. They don't give a shit about anything, and that cat he just had kittens. Pero mm -hmm. la gata, uh, 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 una gata que vivía al lado de la, eh, del apartamento de nosotros y abandonaron la gata para el colmo, la abandonaron. Los tigres se fueron y dejaron la gata en la casa, ahí, abandonada. Y, mm -hmm. y el gato la preñó de la forma más violenta posible. <risa> para eso, variar. Eso, eso fue, le hizo un choke con la, con la boca de entre pecueso y la, se afincó arriba de ella. Y de, You're gonna take what I'm gonna give you right now. <risa> You're gonna like to. You're gonna learn today. Con una bendita intensidad. Entonces, y, me, y, me, y la hija me lo vio y la esposa me lo vio y, y yo dije de que, eh, tú supiste. Entonces, para cómo me habían contado que, 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 de que se estaba inundando de gato, eso por allá, y yo dije, ¿ustedes no están haciendo la matemática aquí? Y yo dije, ¿ustedes no están haciendo la matemática aquí? Eh, dos más dos son cuatro y va ese gato apareciendo y ese gato fue que la, le voló encima esa mujer esa gatita estaba en calor uh -huh. esa gatita estaba en calor y si ella estaba en calor eso es peso moriqueta que quedó preña eso es peso moriqueta que la preñó eso no es de que, que vamos a esperar y ella tú crees tú crees no espera los gaticos que ahí vienen tú crees no 
Eso no es lo que tú crees, que eso viene ahí ya. Y efectivamente, a los tres meses ahí estaban los, tre los tres gaticos. Entonces, para el colmo, <risa> para que tú veas que no hay necesidad, no, que para que tú veas que no hay necesidad de ADN ni hacer de de prueba de paternidad. De los tres gaticos, dos igualito el gato. <risa> Pero la, oye. La, la, el ping pong, y yo dije, dije, bueno, ahí no hay necesidad de... de, de de, de 23 en mí ahí. La gata, di que miau. Y el gato, miau, mierda. Y todo lo que yo te quiero dar a esta olla de gracia. Yo te voy a rellenar ahora. Ratrera. <risa> <risa> Buena sinvergüenza. Te voy a rellenar ahora para que tú veas que, que. Tú a ver. Y efectivamente la rellenó. Yo terminé una relación una vez porque se me pedió un gato. Y tú se lo echaste a ella. Sí, yo creía que ella me había gustado mi gato. Y yo lloré mi gato, loco. La cebolla, ¿a ese nivel? ¿Pero qué sádica que tú estabas saliendo? ¿Con qué, qué tipo de sádica? Cosa después medio. El gato fue simplemente como la última gota de vaso. ¿Y qué tipo de sádica? ¿Qué, qué, pero, pero, ¿tú, ¿Tú la sacaste de una novela de, 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 de Stephen King a esa? Pues? Un sitio que se llama Puñal, allá en Santiago. <risa> You cannot expect that. I should have known better from the get-go, but I didn't. The name should have been a good, that giveaway. Yeah, si la tipa viene de un tipo, atención pueblo, si la tipa viene de un tipo que se llama Puñal, cuídate. Huyamos hacia la derecha. Exacto. Doble a la derecha. Estará entrando en Puñal, Santiago. Devuelve. Devuélvase inmediatamente. De Dele riveza nada más a ese vehículo. Corre y pise el acelerador hasta el fondo. Sí. Llévese todo el que está en el medio porque la vida es primero. <risa> la vida es primera. Sálvese. Después. <risa> Dele a Zacarías y a nivel Zacarías. <risa> Sí, sí, Ay, sí. Dios Oye, Dios. que ella de puñal no crea que tú eres guapo. Ya conoce <risa> los tigres de puñal que son guapos. Tú no, tú eres. She knows people. She knows people. She knows pain. She knows the pla... <risa> She knows the ways of pain. <risa> claro, tú puedes ser el diablo, pero si tú te en territorio apache. <risa> No entre, no entre, pero ven guapo el territorio ahí. Ay, Dios. Oh, God. <risa> Lecciones de vida. No hay de lo que me <risa> Te quiere llegar a viejo. Llévese de consejo. Que diablo no, no es di diablo por pues, diablo, sino es diablo por pues, viejo. Claro. Ah, Dios. No, yo, gracias a Dios, no experimenté por eso lado. Yo no ando tentando el destino de esa manera. Yo tengo uno bueno. Yo tengo uno. Yo tengo unos buenos instintos de autopreservación. <risa> Oye, uno, uno borracho y loco así tira de mierda. <risa> Fajarse a la tropa con guachi. Fajarse a la tropa con un guachi. Buscarse amores en puñal. <risa> Conocer una tipa en un callejón de boca chica. <risa> ¿Qué más? Eh... <risa> Me empecé a comer a mini cherato. Qué loco, yo he hecho cosas en mi vida que yo debí de pensar. Yo, pero mira, acá, yo, yo estaba en droga. Eh. Estaba con droga, yo hubiese pensado mejor las cosas. Y al hotel de la Lila en Montecito. <risa> La sorpresa del Pueblo Nuevo. Oye, si tú oyes una sorpresa, ¿por qué tú entras? El, el, el ajeguay día tuyo estaba nada más tirando todo. Y me dijo, no, pues, no, joda, tú estabas ahí. Yo voy a probar con esto más. 
Ese tío de trabajo me está en todos los días. <risa> lo tenían que tener sedado con un sedante allá arriba. Y traveroso. Mijo, ¿qué es lo que te pasa? Este tigre es el diablo. Este tigre es el diablo. Eh. ¿Qué es lo que te me mandó a mí hacer? ¿Qué mierda hice yo en esta vida para yo merecerme este loco? Pero suéltame a mí. Suéltame a mí. Suéltame a mí. Dame, la... ponme un perro, mira lata, que sojo de menos. Sí, sí. Ponme un perro, mira lata. Eh. Sí, sí, hablemos de los montes donde yo me montaba, donde yo montaba bicicleta. Vaya, si sí, verdad. ¿Para dónde, no, tú, mont... ¿Para dónde tú montabas bicicleta? Ah. La cumbre Juan Vera hasta, la, hasta, hasta Diego de Ocampo. Todo eso lo anduve yo eh, sin piedad. Ay, pero este hombre le gusta mucho. Todo eso varios por ahí. Oye, ¿dónde, ¿dónde tú tienes? Yo recuerdo un día que yo me metí por la canela y ah. cuando vine a ver otra gente, decía y que bienvenidos a Haiki Picao. Ah. Sí, loco. Pero qué rayo tú hacías, pues. Pero hay que picar hasta casi. ¿Y qué rayo tú hacías, pues? Sí, loco, hay que picar hasta más cerca de esa joma que de Santiago. Y era así, yo veía un camino, yo veía un trillo y yo me metía con todo. Tú no preguntabas, tú no decías, dije que, no. que vamos a ver si esto me conviene, será de tu lugar seguro. No, eso es dale para allá, que eso que si hay calle ahí, porque hay gente para allá. Pero olvídate que si tú ves que la maleza no crece por ahí, <risa> porque por ahí cruza. Eh, loco, yo, yo no pensaba oh, las cosas, yo ahora God. lo pienso. Y yo digo, es súper dichoso yo que no me atracaron. Oh, nunca. my God. O sea, la, la loquera de uno cuando era muchacho, que uno le daba mente a nada. Y hacía la cosa, no, no sin pensarlo, no es sin, sin obtener, sin darle mente a la consecuencia. Sin darle mente de que, bueno, si yo me meto en un callejón oscuro, habrá un desgraciado ahí esperando a mí para desgraciarme la vida. Mira, yo tengo un pana que... Todavía, ya somos hombres viejos y hablamos de eso y lo pensamos. Yo vivía en el reparto Montero. Uh -huh. Eso está entre la Buenavista y Padre de la Casa. Un chinchín de tierra, nada más son dos calles. Ni siquiera dos calles. Una calle con una bifurcación así. El punto es que nosotros nos íbamos de noche al, a comprar sidra para las carreras. Oh my God. O sea, que cruzábamos a pie los jardines, el ensanche Julia, eh, no, bajábamos no. La, la Bartolomé Colón, el ching que quedaba, oh, y llegábamos God. a la carrera para de allá venir borracho de camino para la casa Pero otra vez a eso pie. es mínimo 40, 45 <ríe> minutos a pie, mínimo. Sí, mínimo. el aburrimiento era así. Bajábamos a jugar billar para la calle del sol para después volver no. otra vez para pa la casa. <risa> yo, 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 y nosotros ahora, después de viejo, nos ponemos a pensar cómo están las cosas. Y lo dichoso que fuimos, que nunca no, se nos pegó ni una gripe. ¿no? Yo me acuerdo en el 2000, los dos era 10 pesos. Sí. Y uno se daba una jartura, con 20 pesos o 30 pesos, tú te dabas una jartura de jodó. <risa> en, 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 la, en el parque, en el parque cerca de, 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 la, de la catedral yo creo que es Colón o, o Eduardo no, el parque Eduardo en Santiago, el parque Eduardo, Eduardo. sí, Eduardo y ahí que venían esos dos a diez y tú te dabas esa historia, yo me acuerdo en esos tiempos el grupito que yo andaba era, estaban no tan rototen que entre los tres y cuatro no juntaban los diez pesos <risa> Entre los dos, entre los cuatro, le hacían menos tres. Tenía que coger tres cabos. Entonces teníamos que a veces, entonces yo iba, nos juntábamos en los reyes a veces y, y iban a ir pica pollo a diez. Imagínate tú. 
Tú sabes qué maldita rugía tú tenías que estar para irte a comer un picapullo a diez. <risa> pelear por quién le tocaba la pata. Un pica pollo a día. Tú dices esa vaina ahora. Y eso como que te están hablando en Sohili. Tú dices esa vaina ahora de que, que un pica pollo a día. La gente de ahora te dice, pero soy inaudito. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso de que un pica pollo a día? ¿Qué es eso? Un pica no cuesta como 80 pesos, eso no da ni para los fritos. Un pica pollo ahora es como 2 y medio, yo creo que tiene que ser. Imagínate. 2 y medio, 300 pesos tiene que ser un pica pollo ahora. ¿Eh? Yo dime tú, porque eso, eso, eso animalito tan, no, no tan barato, ¿no? Ya, si es a 10 pesos, no es pollo que te están dando. No, no, eso es, es otra vaina. <risa> Se lo dejamos en la imaginación ahí. Sí. Haga la matemática mental ahí. Adivine, adivine qué es lo que está ruyendo por ahí. A dos pocheles. Y que se puede matar y freír de un pronto. Y adornar de una manera que tú crees que es algo. <risa> Te están pasando por ahí atrás. Sí, sí, sí. La estoy ignorando. Por ella no, no entiendo eso. <laughs> Hola. Hello. ¿Cómo estás? We are alive. <laughs> Yo te entiendo totalmente. Sí, estamos vivos, convirtiendo los hijos en el monóxido de carbono. <laughs> bueno. Yo llegué aquí, yo creo que no vamos a buscar. Vean la mesa arreglada. Uh. Ah, pues ustedes se van a acostar temprano. No, no, no. no. Lo, ay, chichi, ok, sí, no, no. Los chichis sí, se levantan temprano. Ay, Dios, ya. <ríe> Crónica de una muerte anunciada. <ríe> Pero dejate fritura. Ari, yo, yo no quiero cometer un crimen. <ríe> El crimen te lo voy a cometer a ti. Es recomendable que yo sea esta llamada. <ríe> ahí, yo El espero. crimen te lo van a cometer a ti. <ríe> Ay, qué difícil. Este momento lo voy a cometer a ti. Te va a salir en la noticia ya. Es cadáver. De... Y en otras noticias, el joven que sobrevivió al ataque de un guachimán murió a mano de su esposa, pero ella no sabe nada. I don't know, no te hay fan en la edad. Got... He got a hatchet right in through, through his head. I don't know how it happened. Yo no sé, that thing está... landed right there. I just found it that way. Yo no sé, estaba ahí hablando caballero, don pronto, he be quiet. Then I hear no sound. I hear a lot of quietness. I, I just thought he fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to step out. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you around, right Maria. Yeah, we'll see. We, we talk later. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> If I survive, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Oh, well, this one was all over the place. Uh, not a traditional podcast, per se. I I had subjects. I had the stuff to talk about. But this is what happens when you talk to Angelo. It, it goes all over the place. Uh, I hope it was entertaining. And if you're bilingual, good for you. <laughs> you got everything. If you're not bilingual, I am sorry. <laughs> this is... This was insane, uh, but that's what it is. I mean, that I expected something similar to to that for being with Angelo. So, uh, I mean, we were going to talk about a, a bunch of other stuff. We just barely touched the surface and other t things. But hey, uh, what can you do when it's comedy gold? Well, uh, everybody that used to work with uh, me and Angelo back in the old job back in DR. I hope you guys listen. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. And I hope you liked it. <laughs> Reminiscing from the old days. 
uh, and well, those who know Angelo know that that that's him. So, uh, uh, Catherine made a special appearance in the end there. So, uh, kudos for her as well. So yeah, this I'm just gonna end it here and again remind everyone the links for the T Public store. There's a there's a special almost every week, so like a thirty percent off, thirty five percent off, whatever. The link will be in the description. The link for the podcast huskybiblepod.com, my social media at Ariel at that Ariel Duran on Instagram and yes, even in Twitter and also the social media for the podcast podcast huskybiblepod.com. So yeah, you got all of that stuff. So uh, uh, that's it, and that's that. So uh, thanks for listening to this <laughs> off the rails podcast. Uh, hopefully, we'll get organized for next week. So this has been Ariel and also Angelo. Uh, Jonathan uh, couldn't make it personal stuff, but uh, he uh, hopefully he will be here for next week's. So again, uh, huskybyboopod.com. Uh, T Public Store, all the goodies. So, this has been Ariel, and this has been the Husky Bible Podcast number 95. Yes, 95. So, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, take care, everyone. Bye.